And I just know that each one of us is here on purpose this morning with a purpose, not by accident or by coincidence. So um, I just wanted to read a little bit out of Romans chapter 8 this morning. The Lord really put this on my heart. And um, it's verse 18. It says, Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory that he will reveal to us later. For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. Against its will, all creation was subjected to God's curse, but with eager hope, the creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. And I was just so thankful to the Lord this morning that these things that we face in our lives are temporary. And I truly believe that he doesn't want us to waste our time in those hard moments in those difficult seasons of life worrying and not praising him and not giving him thanks because that's a waste of our time. Our time here is so short and these struggles that we have cannot compare to what's coming later. So I just want to encourage you this morning and give you a word of hope that even if you feel like hope is lost and that it's over, it's not, and that he is rewriting our story even in this very moment. All right, so let's go ahead and stand and worship the Lord. Let's give him thanks for his goodness this morning. That he's not finished yet. I count on one thing. The same God that never fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now. In the waiting, the same God who's never late is working all things out. You're working all things out. Yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. Yes, I will sing for joy. Happy all my days. Yes, I will. I count on one thing. I count on one thing. The same God that never fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now in the waiting. The same God who's never late is working all things out. You're working all things out. Yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Nothing can stand against, and I choose to praise, to glorify, glorify the name of all things. Nothing can stand against, yes, I choose to praise, to glorify, glorify the name of all names. Nothing can stand against, and I choose to praise. To glorify, glorify the name of all names That nothing can stand against Yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley Yes, I will bless your name Oh yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is happy
thank you, Jesus. We choose to praise you, Lord. We choose to give you honor and thanks, Lord, because of who you are, God. Not because of our circumstances, Lord. Not because it's good today and bad tomorrow, Father. But because you are the eternal God, seated on your throne, and nothing can ever take your place, Lord. You were the word at the beginning, one with God, the Lord most high. Your hidden glory in creation, now revealed in you are Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. Amen. My sin was great, your love was greater. And what could separate us now? What a wonderful name. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is, nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. name it is 
the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us Jesus, your presence is healing and life-giving, Lord. We run to your throne, God, with every need, with every feeling, with every dream, with every desire, Lord. We run to you, God, because we know that you are the one who fulfills those things, God. Lord, I thank you for these hearts, Father, that have been healed in your presence. I thank you for these hearts that have been touched by your presence, Lord. Because without your presence, we are nothing, God. We have nothing, Lord. But we need your presence, Lord. We thank you for being here with us, Lord. We thank you that you are here with us, that you long to draw us close, Lord you long to have intimacy with us because you know us, Lord. Just like Psalms 139 says, you knew me before I was formed in my mother's womb. You loved me. You chose me. So you are drawing your children here in this moment to love on us. You have chosen us. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your goodness. Just feel the Father's love all over you this morning. Every part of you just trickling over you. Every part of your heart, even those dry places that you thought would never come alive again. He is the one that makes those things possible. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing, Lord, for your touch that only you can give, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your love. Thank you for surrounding us with your love this morning. It's so beautiful, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Father, I pray over this message this morning. I just pray, Father, that you would prepare our hearts, Lord, to receive from you. God, I just pray that you would lead and guide the speaker, Father. Use her, Lord, as your vessel, God. Anoint her, Father, and show her, Father, the way that you want her to go, Lord. Thank you for preparing our hearts for what you have for us this morning, Lord. We receive it with arms wide open, with hearts open, in Jesus' name. Amen.